Po is the name of a website and iPhone app that gives you an interface similar to ChatGPT. But with the advantage of being able to swap out the chat model, the engine behind who you're talking with with other advanced AI models. And I use Po nearly every day. It's the second most used tool in my arsenal of AI tools. And I wanted to share it because not a lot of people have talked about it. So here's a step-by-step -step tutorial. The benefit to Po is that once you're logged in, you get this chatbot interface here on the right side of the screen. But here on the left, you can quickly switch between any of the big AI models out right now. Anthropic's Claude models. In fact, the second one is only a week old and it's already available. Google's Palm 2 model is here. But most surprisingly, this upgraded version of GPT-4 also, the 32K context model. You don't even get that with ChatGPT. So just to break this down for you, when you're using ChatGPT, you have a choice between two models, GPT-3 or GPT-4. But look, inside of Poe, you actually have GPT-3 and 4, but also an upgraded version of 4. So I like how the technical team is dealing with all the APIs and I just have one place I can go. I don't even need to log into other websites. And although I don't think there's anything better than GPT-4 personally, some of these other models do have advantages and one of them I use every day. And that's the models with these additional context windows. The GPT-4 32K model and the Claude 100K models, insane. For example, a 100K context window means that you can get 80 or 90,000 words into that little box. So you can actually summarize entire books or long research papers, which is what I use it for. On a previous video, I actually got eight hours of transcript all in here and got one summary, which even a long blog post, I can't always get a summary from GPT-4 because it has an 8K context window. For example, the attention is all you need research paper is simply too long for chat GPT's defaults. Summarize this research paper. See the message that you submitted is too long, but this is nothing for Claude 2. It can handle it easy. I'm actually not sure what the context window is on Google's Palm. Let's see if it can handle this. Summarize this research paper. Yeah, you saw it looks like we got a message too long, so it's probably got an 8K context window. And here's another place where Poe shines. GPT-3 with a 16K context window can handle twice as much, but the best model in the world, GPT-4 with a 32K context window, which is four times larger. Wow, look at that summary. GPT-4, it's broken down the abstract the introduction, the stacks. It explains attention, the embeddings, results, and a conclusion. Mwah. I spend $20 a month on Poe or $200 a year if you want to be smarter than me. But if you just want to check it out, there's a seven day trial. And this is what my active subscription dashboard looks like. So you can see it's not unlimited, although ChatGPT Plus has the 25 times per hour cap. But here it's based on a quota. So with the Claude 2 model, you get 30 a day or a thousand a month. But then you could use the Claude 100K instant, which is still really good. For GPT-4, I get 600 a month. GPT-4, the upgraded 32K version, I get 100 per month. And then a thousand of the souped up GPT-3. And that's a $20 monthly subscription. Smash that subscribe button. And if you're wondering who are you giving this money to, it turns out that Poe is actually made by the same team that makes Quora.com. So Poe is actually an acronym for Platform of Open Exploration. Designed and developed by the Quora team, it was launched in late 2022. And the goal is just what it is. It's a hub, a place where people can log in and simply be able to access all of the state of the art language models. And Quora itself is actually a private company still. It was founded by a couple guys who were early founders in Facebook. They left about 10 years ago. Company's probably worth about a couple billion dollars according to the last valuation. But I just point this out because it's not exactly like a startup team. These guys seem pretty credible to me. But now let me direct you to the top left corner here because this is a part of Poe that I actually hadn't ever really used or played with until today preparing to film this video and I wish I had. So this allows you to create a bot. So before we create our own bot here, let's explore what some of the other bots other users have created are. So what's going on here is people who are creating bots are essentially doing multi-shot learning, meaning they've given some examples and sort of in a way tuned it very quickly for like what it should be doing. Another way to think about it is prompt engineering. People come up with very complex prompts to make it sort of behave and sort of stay into a box. They've kind of done that and then just it permanently. But you'll see when you do it, there is some advantages that I wouldn't have really thought about before. Now I'll admit, in most cases, I think this is more just fun or novelty. It's not the most useful thing in the world. Like for example, we'll start with Spidey Gwen. You know, like a story, like you're walking through the streets of New York, Spider Gwen saves you. Thanks Spider Gwen. I'm more comfortable walking the streets of New York at night knowing you're out there protecting me. Thanks, that's what I'm here for, but don't rely on me too much. Always be careful. What are some tips you have for staying aware of my surroundings? Okay, cool. So we get some like superhero role play or whatever. Now this is a mid journey prompt editor. Midjourney is another tool that I often use to turn text into images. And it's kind of got its own little language of how to produce the best types of images. And that's what a bot like this actually helps you with. Can you make me an awesome photo of a speedboat, but theme it like a bumblebee with yellow and black? 
So by adding all this specific context, we're gonna get a much better image. So my very simplistic default prompt put into Midjourney gets results like this. But as you can see, a much more elaborate prompt like the one that Poe gave me, wow, look at that. Much more realistic, much more coherent. It's interesting how it's less stylized. Let me go see what they wrote. Here they specified that it's actually like a DSLR camera with certain settings, so that's gonna give it a more realistic look. See, it even threw in some cinematographers that I would never even think to know about to add. Look at that, the water is choppy and white as the boat slices through it, sending sprays of water into the air. Like you can see those built into the picture. That's, cause it's pretty cool. Now this bot will rephrase your message into emojis. I won't be home till late tonight. Can you make sure to feed the cat for me? Wait, what? Don't say sure thing. I thought you were gonna reformat it. Let's see, time emoji, cat emoji, fork and knife emoji, thumbs up emoji. Time to feed the cat. But here's some other bots. This one's for anything to do with zombies. This is Lana's mom from Pokemon. This is a bot that always roasts you. A rap god, self-explanatory. Role-playing game bot. Embellished bot. Makes everything you say sound too technical and convoluted. That's literally the opposite of what I'm trying to do on this channel but let's play with it anyways. Explain to me how to open a door. Whoa, I should enlighten you on how to unlatch a portal? Extend the hands towards the handle or knob. Not too complicated. Depending on the configuration of the door next, you gotta firmly grasp the handle or the knob and apply a gentle amount of force in the direction of the being, of their being. See, while simultaneously using the opposite hand to give the door a slight nudge. I mean, I, I sometimes can do it with the same hand, but okay. If executed with precision and fitness, the door shall effortlessly swing open, granting you access to the realm beyond. Thanks, EmbellishBot. Meow's GPT, the chatbot of cats. BuffetBot, a bot trying to pretend to be Warren Buffett. DeepThink AI will explore the boundaries of your imagination. Okay, you get the point. And honestly, I never spend any time in here. Like for this video, it's really kind of interesting, but Realistically, I don't do this very often. I do use Poe as a real summarization tool. I use it as a formatting tool. Oh, and now all my bots are added here to the side. Interesting. And if you want the mobile experience, it's on Android and iOS. Okay, so it looks like a basic chat interface. And if you want to switch models on mobile, you'll click over here on the hamburger menu. And here we have access to Anthropic's Claude models, OpenAI's GPT models, my custom made Curious Time bot. Go back to our conversation with Spidey Gwen or the Google Palm model. Okay, so it looks like I have my profile up here, the chat bot that I made. I like this thing more for the utility. You know, I don't see myself just goofing around on it. But the utility is right there. Finally, let's create a bot. All right, Curious Future, the bot. Handle should be Curious Future, so a bot descriptor. So you could think of this like a prompt injection, a base prompt. This bot is an oracle into the future. Oh, when people hit this bot though, it probably uses my credits, interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna go for regular GPT-3 because I never use that one. Just in case you guys wanna hit it and it's up, go for it. Ask it any questions you want to know about the future. Yeah, this bot will send a message at the beginning beginning of the conversation. Thank you for coming to visit me and my time machine. How can I help you? All right, let's create a bot. Cool, thank you for visiting me and my time machine. How can I help you? Will the YouTube channel Curious Future ever make it to 5,000 subscribers? All right, let's find out our future. Let me consult the time machine for you. Ah, I see that in the future, the YouTube channel Curious Future will indeed get to 5,000 subscribers. Ah, oh, it's gonna take time and effort. It's all right, a minute for the long run. The channel will attract a growing audience and become a popular destination for those curious about the future. Smash that subscribe button.